Radiation is a scary word for a lot of people. We immediately imagine a mushroom cloud. Think about Chernobyl, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki. But is radiation not as bad as we think? Or maybe it's time for us to live in a bunker underground. Did you know that you will receive a dose of radiation if you as much as spend a night with someone? In fact, there's a broad range of radiation types and lots of harmless things emit radiation, such as houses, food, dishes, and even people. Radiation is measured in sieverts, which is the standard international derived unit of ionizing radiation dose. The average radiation you receive each day is about 10 microsieverts. During a commercial flight, cosmic radiation exposure is several times higher than on the ground. Spending a night with someone would expose you to 0.05 microsieverts. Needing a banana will expose you to twice as much radiation, 0.1 microsieverts. And one chest x-ray packs about 20 microsieverts. It has been affirmed that a single one sievert dose causes radiation sickness, and a single dose of five sieverts could kill. Radiation can kill, but so can heat, microwave, and radio rays. How does radiation work? Many think it's a deadly fog which falls to the ground, consuming everything in its path. But it's not true. Radiation requires certain conditions to make it deadly. We know that anything could be a projectile with proper acceleration. An ordinary bird breaks armored glass and destroys engines when hitting a plane in flight. The same happens with an ordinary particle that flies at high speed. It could even be the nucleus, the electron, or the proton. High-speed particles can knock electrons out of the atom. And that's why radiation is called ionizing. These particles act like micro bullets. And when those micro bullets enter a living thing, they destroy its molecules. Some cells die, others survive, but with a damaged DNA. This causes errors to build up in genes over time. And cancer formed through this damage can even be transmitted to the next generation. There are three basic types of radiation. These include alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Alpha particles are heavy and travel small distances. Beta particles are light and travel further. Clothing can stop alpha particles. Unfortunately, alpha particles can be inhaled or ingested, which can be very dangerous. Then comes the type of radiation that is responsible for creating the Incredible Hulk. Gamma radiation is actually a wave, and gamma rays are the most dangerous, and they can travel through most forms of matter. It takes several inches of lead, or several feet of concrete bunkers, to effectively block gamma rays. Chernobyl, the superstar of nuclear accidents that occurred in 1986 in Ukraine, was caused due to a large amount of energy that was suddenly released, rupturing the reactor core in a highly destructive steam explosion. This was immediately followed by an open-air reactor core fire that released considerable airborne radioactive contamination that was responsible for close to 40 immediate deaths, and up to 16,000 deaths across Europe due to long-term effects of radiation exposure. But radiation isn't all bad and isn't just used to generate power, wink wink. Radioactive isotopes are also used to treat people, used in security devices, and to even heat up last night's pasta. So, next time you hear the words nuclear radiation, it doesn't just mean giant mushroom cloud and death, but also an everyday phenomenon that is pretty useful. See you next time, and as always, continue to learn.